true what I read that once Emmett was able to beat you the first time, you never played him again? Correct. <laughs> That's how my record has remained unble <laughs> relatively unblemished. So you've beaten him thousands of times, he beat you once. Well, I beat him... Uh, Hundreds. I, hundreds. I beat him hundreds okay. of times, and, and he won by one measly point. And I, I take my chances in a debate on that subject. And I know there's some frailties in my position. And do you only play doubles these days? Uh, no, I actually prefer singles. When oh, cool. I, when, I was, uh, when I'm healthy, I prefer singles. Uh, and Ricardo and I are standard players and as I've gotten older he'll play me left-handed or he'll play me right-handed or whatever gets a good game going. We, we treasure the rallies. The kill shot only means something if it's different than the regular shot. And that's what is lost in racquetball. They don't understand that it's the climax of all the work you did and all the thought that had to go into that rally to get this shot to hit. And uh, um, it's, it's interesting to me how people don't see that, that they don't see that that's the beauty. The beauty is being able to move this player by a series of mechanisms to get over here so you can score over here. And uh, the, if you watch the pros, the top players in, in racquetball, they can score from anywhere and they take the first available shot. First available shot, and usually that's the first ball that comes to them. You're not gonna have a rally and you're not gonna have an athlete that doesn't play that sport come in and, and it, have it catch on because it's just like this is th the ball's hit at a thousand miles an hour they can't even see it the girls are concerned for their life and uh, I, I would be too if I went out and tried to play racquetball despite my my uh, past accomplishments it's not the same game and if you can't do what those top pros do you don't score, and you don't have fun. That's what I don't like. You know what Hogan said about it? Hogan said that to be a champion in, in racquetball, you had to be in good condition, but you couldn't get in shape by playing your own sport. <laughs> now that's an interesting point that may have been missed during the changes in the game. Eons ago, you said that you didn't do other sports or working out because you felt that the best workout for racquetball was racquetball. It was, okay. at that moment in time. Okay. Now, when the ball was taken from that point, which effectively was the blue void, the original black void was too slow. And the what we didn't realize, we, the people that were instrumental in the how the racket game was being developed we didn't realize that if we let the racket get bigger and lighter and the ball get faster and faster that the rally would go away and with it the game we didn't realize it I did but it, it was really a self-serving realization and it was pointed out as such Charlie you want the game to be where you want it to be so that you can win. And of course I did want to win when I played, but the truth is that I felt it was a better game with the ball at that blue void level than it, when it went to the green ball in the pros, which was Seamco, and the ball would hit and bounce into the gallery. I said, hey, uh, you know, you're taking away everything because it's all gonna be different. You cannot score with that ball using the same techniques. If you were in front of somebody and they were blasting from the back wall, you were at a terrible disadvantage. And then glass courts came in, you couldn't see the ball. So where I made all my points was in the mid court. I saw them hit it, stepped in, and made them pay for what they did. <laughs> you can't do that in racquetball because when they rip it, it's hit so hard that maybe a super pro could take it before it got by him, but that's it. That's the only person in the country that could. Someone was saying that when 
Marty Hogan serves the ball, you have to just kind of flip a coin and dive right or left. You cannot wait to see him hit the ball because it's too late. Yes, and now part of that is because we didn't grow up with it. Now, I noticed that I don't know whether these pros now, even Kane, who is obviously one of the greatest players that's ever played, if not the greatest, he has never played a game with the original ball and the original racket. He's played this game and he has devoted his being to get as good as he can be with the equipment that they're using, which is what a pro is supposed to do. It's supposed to be for the administration of the sport to look at what that equipment should be. And there needs to be a rationale for why the equipment is the way it should yeah, be. Yeah, and it got too political and too competitive. Well, and... it was political, but everybody knows that if you have a one-shot rally, you've lost the conditioning aspect of the game. You may get in shape to do that one shot by running like whatever, whatever the alternate training would be to get that. When, when I was at my peak, I could play racquetball or paddle ball and I got more than enough workout. If a sport doesn't give you enough workout to constitute training, then switch sports.